This is the solution to written homework 33. So we're supposed to solve this equation by factoring. So we want two numbers whose product is 96 and whose sum is negative 20. So because the product is 96, which is positive, that means we need both numbers to be uh, either negative or both positive. And the fact that this one is negative means that we'll need them both to be negative. Okay, so let's try. Uh, how about <coughs> 2 and 48? So negative 2 and negative 48. Well, that would give us the right product, but not the right sum. How about negative 4? Uh, and negative 24. Again, that's the right product, but not the right sum. How about negative 8 and negative 12? Ah, here we go. So, there we have it. So then this equation, x squared minus 20x plus 96 is 0 and it factors as x minus 8 multiplied by x minus 12 equal to 0. So the solutions are x equal to 8 or x equal to 12. So now we want to solve this one by factoring. So now we want two numbers whose product is 2 times 3, which is 60 and whose sum is negative 17. So sum is negative 17. So again, because the product is positive, we need both positive or both negative, and because the sum is negative, that means they both need to be negative. So how about negative 2? And negative 30, that's not the right sum. How about negative 4 <coughs> and uh, negative 15? So that would be negative 19, that's not quite right. How about negative 5 and negative 12? That gives negative 17, so that's the one we wanted. So these two numbers tell us how to split that negative 17. So we'll split it as 2x squared uh, minus 5x minus 12x plus 30 is equal to 0. And then we'll factor out the greatest common factor of each group. So that is x, and then 2x minus 5. And then for this one, we'll factor out uh, how about negative 6? So minus 6, and then 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. And we can see that 2x minus 5 occurred twice. So that's good. That tells us we're on the right track. So that we can factor this as uh, x minus 6 multiplied by 2x minus 5 equal to 0. So then this equation splits into two pieces, two separate equations. One of them is uh, x minus 6 is equal to 0, and the other is uh, 
2x minus 5 equal to 0. So x is 6, or <coughs> x is 2.5. So that's the solution to part B. <coughs> For part C, uh, there's two possibilities to solve this. So absolute value equations split into two possibilities. One of them is that 5x minus 9 is negative 3. The other possibility is that 5x minus 9 is positive 3. So then these both can be solved in the normal way now. So 5x is 6, or 5x is 12. So x is 6 over 5, or x is 12 over 5. <coughs> and then finally, for this one, there is no solution. no solution because <clears throat> you're asked to get something to fit the following pattern the absolute value of t is equal to negative 4 there is no value you could put in the absolute value to get negative 4 <clears throat> so this is always false